Okay, guys, let's say you have uh, an exercise in static crunch that has a data set and you open it uh, up in static crunch. First thing I want to show you is how to sort uh, data from like smallest to largest. To sort a data set, you just go to data, sort, uh, select the column. My, it's in variable one. This is the data set. And in ascending order, it's variable one. And if you want to replace the current column, you can replace it. And here you go. So your data is sorted out from smallest to largest. Now let's say you want to create a frequency distribution table or relative frequency distribution table with five classes. So let me show you how you can do that in static crunch. It's not very user friendly, but there is a way to do it in static crunch. You just click on graph, you go to histogram, select the column, which is variable one. Don't worry about variable two, it's something else I put in there. And then what do you want? The frequency? Let's keep the frequency now. Start at, we usually start at the lowest value. So the lowest value here is 11. Now the width, the class width. What is the class width? You were, you learned in chapter two that the class width is the difference between the largest and the smallest value divided by the number of classes. I want five classes. So you do 45 minus 11, which is 34 and divided by five, that will give you 6.8. Well, 6.8 is a decimal. You need to round it up so the class width is 7. And this is why you see the 7 there. So I just put 7 in there. And now, guys, you're going to see uh, uh, five classes. Watch. There you go. Now, what is each class? It says 11 to 18. But it's usually 11 to 18, not including 18, not including the end point. So it's actually 11 to 17. That's what I put there. And now 18 to 25, you notice guys that 25 is open parentheses, parentheses that means it's not included. So it's 18 to 24 and so on and so forth. So these are the classes. Now, how do you figure out the frequency? Watch, just highlight it. It's 12. Highlight this one, 14. Highlight this one, four. Highlight this one, should be more, seven and highlight this one should be three and this is your frequency distribution table now let's say you want to create a relative frequency distribution table so i'm going to put rf relative frequency you could take 12 and divide it by the grand total which is 26 40 so 12 divided by 40 but it's you can do it from here also watch add it instead of frequency choose relative frequency and compute And here you go, guys, 0 0.3. And actually, 12 divided by 40 turned out to be uh, 0 0.3 exactly. And you want to see the next one a little bit more, 0 0.35. And actually, I know 0 0.1 for uh, 4, 4 divided by 40 is 0 0.1. Watch. There you go. And this one is 0 0.175. And this is 0 0.075. And that's how this is the frequency. This is the table, guys. Uh, this is the class. This is the frequency. And this is a relative frequency using uh, static crunch.